Hey guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips once again. Now this is a tough one. I'm not sure if this is a tech tip or a vintage scuba. So you decide. Let me just let me just do it, okay? So if you've been to my vintage scuba playlist, you have undoubtedly seen the the all rubber dry suits. In in the 40s and the 50s, dry suits mainly from California, were made of all, all rubber. I mean, just rubber, like, like an inner tube or a balloon. They were like a balloon. And, and uh, you, you put the dry suit on and the rubber sealed around your wrist and around your neck and your ankles, and you climbed into this thing. Now, there were different styles. Some were two-piece, so you put the pants on and you put the jacket on, and then you, you rolled the waist together so it would stay watertight, which it often did. <laughs> and there was another really weird one where it was one piece. Jacket and pants, all one piece, Kevin, top to bottom. But at the front, right here in the belly of the suit, there was a tube, a tube. <laughs> and you would climb in through the tube, get the, then you would scrunch, get, and anyway, you put it on like that. And then the tube, you would tie in a knot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They were pretty weird, but they worked. Now, these were dry suits, meaning that you did not get wet. But they didn't keep you warm, because rubber is not an insulator. Neoprene is an insulator, but not plain rubber. So you had to wear something underneath. And normally what you would wear underneath is uh, what they often wore was underwear. Yeah, the divers would wear underwear, usually white, old-fashioned underwear, you know, with the door on the back and all that stuff, yeah. <laughs> and they would put on underwear, or maybe more than that, then put on their rubber dry suit and go diving. The water in California is cold. Maybe you don't all know that, but it is cold. 60 degrees is a good day. So they had to have some protection, and the dry suit did exactly that job. So I did a vintage scuba uh, episode about the old rubber dry suits. Oh, that was, it was a pretty good video, and I got some comments on it. Anyway, this guy calls me, his name is Charles Young. Charles Young, yeah, and he has a company called Latex Works LLC. And he says, hi, Alec, I'm Charles Young. And he says, uh, I saw your video about the, uh, the uh, vintage rubber dry suits, but you know, they're not vintage, I still make them. I'm, I still, I said, what? Yeah, he says, I still make exactly the same suit. People use them for different things. They use them for windsurfing and for kayaking and all kinds, of, and sometimes for diving too. I said, you're kidding me. What's it look like? He says, it looks exactly the same as the one you had in your vintage scuba. Now, the one I had on the vintage scuba playlist is from 1948 or 49. Yeah, that's 70 years ago, and, and I, I couldn't believe it. I said, I gotta see one, send me one, I'll give it a try, I'll do a little video about it, and if people are interested, they can go to uh, info at hydroglove, right, Diana, dot org, info at hydroglove.org, or you can look up Latex Works LLC. I'm gonna get Kevin to put that on this video a little later. So anyway, a little later, this bag arrives, and I'm saying, what the heck is that? It looks like a lunch bag. And, and so that's it. There's the bag it arrived in. And inside this bag, <clears throat> inside this bag, I pulled it out. Rubber. <laughs> it's thin rubber. It's like a balloon. I took it apart, and, and, and there's a jacket. And the jacket has an attached hood. It actually has a hood on it. And it comes with a pair of pants. And the pants have... <laughs> I was freaking out because this, this, is, this is just like the old dry suits that were used in the 40s and 50s. If Dr. Sam, if you're watching this video, you're going to laugh because I know that you know lots and lots of divers that wore these suits all the time. So anyway, there it is. Seems really strong, very, very good quality and, and, and not terribly expensive, certainly not compared to modern dry suits, which can run into the thousands of dollars. So just for fun, I'm here at Scuba 2000 our old dive store, and I'm gonna put this on. <laughs> I, I haven't had one of these on in 50 years myself. I'm gonna put this on and jump into the water and swim around for a little while and just see how it feels to be in this old, old style dry suit, which was made a month ago. The hardest part about these old dry suits is getting them off and on. Now divers used to carry a bottle of talcum powder, baby talcum powder, or preferably pure talcum powder, to make it slip on and off. Even with underwear on there, uh, the, the suit would stick to your skin. I didn't get any instructions with it, so I'm gonna have to call Charles and see if he provides instructions for people who've never ever had a rubber dry suit on before. I'm pretty sure that 
somebody bought one of these from Charles, and, and first time they try it on, and I said, ah, this thing's defective. <laughs> no, it's just the way it is. See, nothing to it. <laughs> so anyway, so that goes on like that. And this comes down like this. I might get a hand here. You get the pants and you put the top over the top of the pants. short distance, then you grab the jacket inside there, and you fold that up over the top of the pants. You basically have a little sandwich in there, a meat sandwich. Now, I'm the meat. Anyway, a little bit like that. Now, there are different ways of doing that, but you know, that's one of the ways to do it. Okay, here we go, guys. Now, uh, what I did for this, just to make it a little more realistic, is I also have a vintage regulator. Now, this regulator is much newer than the suit. This is a suit from 1949-1950. The regulator is much newer. All right, it's from 1956. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to give this a try. I know the regulator works really well. So far, I'm dry. So, I'm dry. Let's see how it works underwater, okay? Now, one thing you have to know with these suits, especially with the attached rubber, the mask. The mask has to go on your skin. So you put the mask on, watch what I do, like right, so. And then you take your hand and you go around the mask, like so. So the mask seals on your skin, and the rubber hood seals over top of the mask seal. Yeah, just like that. No skin showing? I'm going diving. See ya. Well, it works, guys. Perfectly dry under there. One thing I didn't mention to you with these rubber dry suits, it's kind of a neat thing, is that the rubber, of course, is compressed. Not the air rubber, but the air is compressed. So when you get deep, and I actually noticed it just here in Tempe, the, the seams on here actually squeeze and they squeeze your skin. And this is something that old divers were experienced with. Sometimes the old divers would come to the surface and it would look as if they, they had just been flogged because they had red streaks all over the body from being squeezed. You've heard a suit squeeze. Well, this is where the term came from. Modern dry suits, of course, you can put air into them and uh, avoid that problem. Anyway, it works. I'm dry. Come on, let's go find someplace cold. See ya. Take care. Alec Pierce, scoop out.